friends and family, welcome to this most joyous and yet solemn occasion. Today we stand in the presence of God to witness the marriage of Amy Fisher and Jared Curry. If there's anyone present who has just caused why this couple should not be united, let him or her speak now or forever be silent. Good. <laughs> <laughs> who gives this man and woman to be married to each other? We do. We do. Thank you very much. All right, then let me say a few words and we'll begin the marriage. All of you may sit, please. Marriage is an institution not to be taken lightly. Two people make promises that last a lifetime and commit to each other through thick and thin. This relationship, modeled on the relationship we have with our Lord, is not just a promise made on earth, but also one made to heaven. But it's also a joyful time. As two people who are charming and lovable by themselves, have found the partner that makes them even more so when they are together. And it is with jubilation that we send them on the greatest and most rewarding adventure of their lives. We all have a part to play in their happiness. Although we are witnesses, it is not in the sense that we are spectators, but we are witnesses in a more profound manner. By being here today, we are pledging our support to this couple promising to be a foundation upon which their love is built and can thrive. And I can imagine no greater pleasure than watching and encouraging their happiness and the health of their marriage. Now, Amy and Jared, you've probably heard lots of advice on marriage. People will tell you it's difficult. They will tell you that there will be down times and things like that. And what they say may in fact be true. But I will give you my advice, and that's to just enjoy each other. You are two wonderful people, and all the blips and obstacles that you encounter will be trivial if you just honor your partner and enjoy each other for who you are. It'll be a beautiful, beautiful life together. And now Macy Jun will read scripture for us. She's going to read for the book of Ecclesiastes. Macy? Who are better than one because they have a good return for their labor. If either of them falls down, one can help the other up. But pity anyone who falls and has no one to help them up. Also, if two lie down together, they will keep warm. But how one can keep warm alone? Though one may be overpowered, two can defend themselves. A cord of three strands is not quickly broken. Thank you, Macy. <laughs> and now it's time for the vows. If the two of you can come and hold hands. Jared, please repeat after me. In the presence of God, in the presence of God, and these our friends, and these our friends, I take you, Amy Fisher, I take you, Amy Fisher, as my wife, as my wife. I promise that I will love, I promise that I will love, honor and cherish you, honor and cherish you, in all times, in all times, in all places, in all places, and in all ways forever, and in all ways forever. Beautiful. Amy, if you would repeat after me. In the presence of God. In the presence of God. And these our friends. And these our friends. I take you, Jared Curry. I take you, Jared Curry. As my husband. As my husband. I promise that I will love. I promise that I will love. Honor and cherish you. Honor and cherish you. In all times. In all times. In all places. In all places. And in all ways forever. And in all ways forever. Do you, Jared Curry, take Amy Fisher to be your lawfully wedded wife? I do. Do you, Amy Fisher, take Jared Curry to be your lawfully wedded husband? I do. <laughs> let's do the ring, shall we? <laughs> and Jared, please repeat after me. As this ring has no end, as this ring has no end, neither shall my love for you. Neither shall my love for you. <laughs> and 
Amy to repeat after me? As this ring has no end? As this ring has no end. Neither shall my love for you. Neither shall my love for you. By the power vested in me by the state of California, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss. Uh -huh. I now present you for the first time ever, Mr. and Mrs. Jared and Amy Curry. She was I'm a beautiful insane. bride. She is a beautiful bride. Raquel's out. Abraham's job is to take care of the speaker. That was so precious. I love it.